the sacrifices and the sleepless nights Well, they serve me well, only time will tell I just keep on praying that I'll find my way If I go through hell, only time will tell Only time will tell What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Past the Peas with your boy, Dante. We in the building, we in the building. Ready to get something going. How y'all feeling out there, man? Everybody good? I guess only time will tell. What's happening, man? What's going on, man? Back in here for another powerful episode of Pass the Peas. What's poppin'? How y'all feeling? Man, it's been the same news, man, all week, man. Same stuff, talking about the same thing. Every day is a new thing with Diddy. <laughs> It's always something with this guy. I mean, it's funny how. It's funny how. It's terms out there like. uh, I played the cards I was dealt. Right. But then when when the cards fall, how they fall. We. We. We ain't. We ain't supposed to call a spade a spade. Like, I don't get that. I don't care about that either. <laughs> because the, I, I'm convinced, you know what I mean? There's a lot of people out there like, oh, they just jumping on Diddy. They want to see another black man fall. Um, why everybody jumping to conclusions? He ain't guilty yet. This and that. I'm just here to call a spade a spade. I don't know. I mean, I think about all the shit I heard over the years about P. Diddy. Like, and, and I seen a comedian say this, like, we just overlooked that shit. <laughs> we just overlooked it. Like, oh, you know, that, that ain't, we just overlooked it. And we didn't want to see what we were seeing. Like, cause it been a bunch of different situations that's questionable. You know what I mean? That people should have been questioning, but that wasn't on people's minds at the time. You know what I mean? So that wasn't the topic of discussion. People look past that or whatever, right? But I'm just saying, bro, man, that's a, um, that person is, this dude is probably guilty. <laughs> Of the shit they said, uh, for one, because the nigga sat, sat there and settled for these however many millions of dollars, 30, 40 million, some, I don't know. But when you settle for that much, that mean, you know what I mean? You ain't really want no smoke. And then you got all these other things coming out now, dudes coming out, people ain't. People ain't scared to come out now. They got Cassie cooperating with the feds. Like, it's... I'm looking at it like, bro, it's about to be an indictment. He's going to be indicted any day now. It's coming. They they not playing them little games. The game they is playing is um, prolonging it. You know what I mean? Making motherfuckers wait. They, Cause they could have been there. This, I feel like they got everything they need, but now they slowly feeding us now 
today it comes out or yesterday it came out. Cassie's cooperating with the feds in their investigation against him, which everybody knew that. Like, I mean, that's what they, this new one ain't got nothing to do with her, but that, that's what opened the door for this, man. Everybody know that. So everybody should have knew that she was going to be cooperating with them. You know what I mean? And that's all good, but like, I seen little Boosie saying like, bro, where is everybody that fuck with Diddy? Like that hang with Diddy. Um, that go to his part, his entourage, his, not his entourage, because they all probably under investigation, but his friends, people he called friends, where they at? I ain't seen nobody but Stevie J for real. Stevie J been out there and he a part of the whole accusations and that's I ain't even gonna go there with that. But that's the only person I've really been seeing out there. Like I ain't seen young Miami come out and say nothing. Oh well, I guess she in the investigation too. Damn. Um somebody Diddy ain't got no friends that I guess all his friends is wrapped up in this shit so they can't talk. What's the deal with that? I don't know. But I ain't I ain't seen nobody coming out but, but Diddy. Now all of a sudden this nigga bike riding. He out riding bikes and shit. He know he about to get them cuffs. <laughs> he know them motherfuckers coming, bro. That's why he doing shit he don't normally do. Let me go ride a bike. I don't think the nigga be riding bikes around Miami like that on a regular. But TMZ or somebody caught him riding bikes by himself. But he he did manage to um be get surrounded by a bunch of um women wanting to take pictures. You know what I mean <laughs> and shit. But all I'm saying is I'm calling the spade a spade. Now, I ain't even saying that Diddy did anything crazy because I don't know if he did nothing crazy. Like, 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 um, if minors, I, like, I ain't seen, I mean, that's a accusation, but I ain't really seen that. I mean, until I see that, then it'll be different, but I'm going to stick to what I say. I think. Diddy is just a freak, bro. He just a freak, man. He he just like to have strippers around, and he might like a couple dudes, um, or he like to watch dudes with the strippers or something. And then he rich, uber, uber rich or whatever you call it, like super rich, right? And Things change for people, I think, when they get <laughs> to a certain level. Things just change, man. I don't know. I don't know what it is. They be bored or whatever, but they just be freaky, I think. So, like, if all them people was um, adults, and you know what I mean, <laughs> then that's all cool, but I don't think that's the case because these feds is involved like they are. I think it's more than just like dude must have some like I don't know if people really seen these vid these videos that he said he got but or the videos they must have recovered some videos of some 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 pretty questionable things happening. And with that Brings me so will they be able to identify these people and find out if they were underage? How far back does it go? Who does it involve? That's what made me think too. Like a lot of people, a lot of his so called friends was probably fucking, fucking around with that. You know what I mean? They got down with the get down. You know what I mean? So. Now they like, damn, what, did they get my tape? I can't get out there and say Diddy a good dude because I don't even know if they got the, the, 
the, the, the shit I did with it. <laughs> I guess, I guess, but, um, shit just crazy, bro, like, and then 50 Cent, like I said, bro, 50, bro, he, this nigga is, you, man, you cross 50, bro, and it's on, it ain't no, it ain't no turning it off, and then it, it all fucked around and, and this lawsuit named his baby mama as a motherfucking sex worker for Diddy. Like, oh my goodness. That, they just don't know what kind of fuel they be putting on this. <laughs> oh, man. That's crazy, bro. So then... Just think about all these people. Remember Diddy was on with Lori Harvey after his son was, right? That's crazy, bro. Just think about all the things. And I'm pretty sure if you use your mind, you're going to come to the conclusion that like, uh, okay. Yeah, that's crazy. He, he on some other shit. I think he on some other shit, bro. But if it wasn't no minors, then I don't know if that's illegal to be on some other shit, to be on some, it's just a different, the money make a motherfucker different, man. I think. That's why some of the, some of them be just, I don't know. That's how you get like the, 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 the Epstein. He, he just had too much money and he was probably bored with the regular way of doing things or something. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. It's hard to tell, but I do know that I don't know, but I feel like P. Diddy going to be in handcuffs real soon, real soon. It's coming. It's coming. They keep dropping little crumbs. It's coming. Why is they talking to all these people? Why are they doing all this? Why is they kicking in all these doors? Why they? It's coming. He about to be chopped. <laughs> Put your hands behind your back. It's like, nah, he'll get right out, though, I imagine. You know what I mean? Even though they talking like he, he owe all this money. To like mortgage companies and shit. I think if that was a true story, it'd be so much shit out there about him. But if he owe all that money to different mortgage places and some shit, like <laughs> I don't know, if they gonna they gonna tear him up trying to fight this case or these cases or lawsuits or whatever. It's lawsuits and cases. Ain't that a bit? Yeah, they gon' they gon' they gon' get him. His pocket's about to be hurting, hurting. On to other news though. Your boy Donald Trump, man, he out here stunting, stunting. This dude got I don't know if he got the gift of gab. Or he just got a hustle hand, man. He just got a hustle hand. He know how to hustle these people, man. <laughs> he know how to hustle these people, man, from the, from the taxes. He figured a way how to swindle around that. You know what I mean? That ain't, that ain't his fault he found a loophole in the taxes, right? He swindled all through the real estate. All through all his other businesses. Swindling. <laughs> Suing people. Getting sued itself. Filing 
bankruptcy. I don't know if he did or not, but I, I would assume the type of guy he is. Yeah, he has. Um, at some point, maybe. I don't know. But anyway, so now this guy, so since he started, I don't know what all he's selling, but I know he got hats, very popular hats. You know what I mean? Make America great again. MAGA hats. People wear them. They wore them this whole four years Joe Biden been president. <laughs> they still wear their MAGA hats. Okay. Then he just dropped some shoes last month or something. I think it was last month. Who, what was the, when was the last president? Who was the last president that dropped a pair of shoes? <laughs> uh, now this cat selling Bibles. He is selling Bibles out here, out here. Um, man. People out here buying them, bro. People out here buying these Bibles, these shoes, these hats. They buying this stuff. He's, he's. <laughs> I don't know what he is. Man. Is he an evil genius? What the hell? Like, he, he know how to capitalize off the people that um, believe in him. And he know how to make people believe in him that he don't give a damn about. That's some reverse psychology shit for your ass. But anyway, so that so that's all happening. And then he said he has a um Social media site, Truth Social. I, 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 the way I heard the story is they went public, like on the stock market, and didn't do so good. I, I assume did terrible because now Trump is suing his partners <laughs> at Truth Social. And like I said, this is his history. This what he do. He get in business with somebody. He don't like the outcome. He sue him. If you go paint his house and he come in, he'll come in, oh, I don't like that, and not pay you and, like, get it free. Like, these are his schemes. This is how he swindles. He does shit like that. Right? <laughs> In here. I mean, and he's not changing who he is. He did that way back in the day. He's doing that present day. You know what I mean? That's who he is. The great philosopher DMX once said, Trust people to be who they are. You know what I mean? Just just know who they are when they are them. You know what I mean? Just I fucked that last part up, but trust people to be who they are, man. If if, if you know this motherfucker is a snake, trust him to be a snake. And that's what it all that's what it all boils down to. Can't nobody be surprised at how Donald Trump act or whatever. That's who he is, bro. We got to trust that that's how he going to act. And that's how he is, man. It's any. You know what I mean? That's just him. And that's why people love him. All his supporters. That's why they, that's why they on his team like that. Because they see him as being himself. Which he is. <laughs> but he's still dirty. You know what I mean? He's still dirty with it. Untrustworthy. You can't really trust him. You know what I mean? You can't trust a person like that. You can't go into business with that person. You can't 
bring him into your circle, man, because he's he just you just can't trust him. You know what I mean? But he like to manipulate people with his money, and but somehow he's manipulating these people into giving him money. People man, just flooding this guy with money. It's crazy, man. I guess that's the way the cookie crumbles, man. You know what I mean? That's how I go. Well, um, as far as that, man, I ain't really got much more on Trump right now, man, or on the whole politics scene, man. Joe Biden still old as fuck, looking old than a motherfucker. They all old as hell. <sighs> Just see what's gonna happen. What where things going, man? In the politics, I ain't really got much more on that. But I, what I do got is a question about this bridge in Baltimore, man, that got popped and ran into or whatever. How, was this a setup or an accident? Like, because... Okay, um, the, the, the ship lost power, I think. That's what they said. The ship lost power. So I guess dude might have... Okay, so the person had... I don't really know what happened. All I know is the ship lost power. Boom. Hit the damn bridge. And it apparently collapsed. I thought it collapsed. Like, with hella pedestrians on there and everything like that. Come to find out. It was only, um, I think, six or eight um, city workers that was on the bridge doing some, um, fixing some potholes, is what they said. Because they got a, I think they said they got a call that the boat had lost power and, and that he couldn't steer it or nothing. Um, so the local authorities like stop traffic on the bridge. I'm like, what? Well, if they did that, why didn't, so they didn't get, they didn't notify the city workers. You know what I mean? Like, why was they still on the bridge if tra um, the police notified traffic? And I know they say the bridge was like a mile long or something, but what? Like, the police just decided to not go on the bridge, but just stop traffic on both sides or something? And left the uh, workers out there stinking? Or did they not know the workers was out there? They thought they just stopped it. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, as I'm thinking about that. That make a little more sense. Maybe they didn't know the workers was out there and they just called themselves stopping traffic to be lightweight preventative. Like, okay, we ain't no traffic going across the bridge, not knowing that these workers was out there fixing potholes. Anyway, I'm glad I was able to work through that step by step. <laughs> Like I was saying, though, man, they, so I think they recovered two of the bodies so far. They still searching for the other ones. Rest in peace to them people, man. It's a crazy set of circumstances, man. But um, that's pretty much all I got on, on the whole Baltimore thing, the little bridge thing. I know. That's fucked up a lot, and it's going to be a long time until they rebuild that bridge. And, I mean, maybe they can get that port open. But I, I would imagine the port, well, I, they couldn't have the port open while they building the bridge. So, I don't know how that's going to work, but that's going to fuck up their little economy in, in a major way. I would, I would think. I just keep on praying you know. that I'll find my way if I go through hell. Anyway. Only time will tell. 
Only time will tell. I think that's it, man, for this episode, man. This, this has been a good one. Another episode of the Past the Peace. With your boy Dante. Out this motherfucker, man. Trying to do something. We're going to see what it do, man. Until next time, man. Be safe. I love y'all. Peace. Time will tell.